Uh, New Orleans Pelicans were actually going to be uh, controlling the 24th pick. Uh, they are going to be trading that to the Denver Nuggets mm -hmm. for R.J. Hampton, uh, despite the logo that you're about to see in the Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah, ignore that. Yes. Please ignore that. Uh, and then the Pelicans. So again, New Orleans trading the 24th pick, which they got from Milwaukee, to Denver to draft R.J. Hampton. There you go. He Gary, what's your grade? Uh, I'll go A minus, if only because you know RJ Hampton is uh, the best prospect available on my board. I had him in the top 16 of this draft, so if you get him at 24, at least from my perspective, that's good value. He is a combo guard, former five-star prospect coming out of high school, who decided to go play in New Zealand rather than play at Texas Tech, Kansas, or the University of Memphis. He considered all of those schools, like the size and. Great first step there. He's got to get better shooting the ball. For whatever it's worth, he did spend much of this offseason working out in Memphis with both Penny Hardaway and Mike Miller working on his jump shot. There was some thought leading into this draft that he had done enough to convince people that he belonged in the lottery. As it turns out, doesn't appear so. But if you can get somebody that I had going just outside of the lottery with the 24 pick, um, I, I think, again, he was the best prospect on my board available. All right, Gary, thank you. Let's bring in Avery Johnson to talk about this uh, because this is kind of a connection here because he was actually recruited, RJ Hampton is, to New Zealand by somebody you know very well, and that would be Sean Marion, who's actually um, in charge, a part owner of that team there. So what can you tell us about RJ Hampton? Yeah, RJ Hampton, uh, you know, talented kid. You know, as Gary alluded to, you know, played overseas. I, I, I think this is a long-term play. Um, this kid, I think, could very well spend most of next year uh, in the G League. Um, I, I think, you know, he's probably about two years away from really turning the corner as not only just an NBA player, but as a professional. Uh, so, he, you know, he needs a lot of seasoning, uh, training, you know, continue to work on his fundamentals. I agree with Gary, you know, he's got to definitely work on his outside shot because if you can't really make an outside shot consistently, then you're basically playing uh, four against five uh, defenders. So uh, he's a talented kid, you know, multi-dimensional kid, long, good body, but uh, I could see him, you know, spending most of this upcoming season um, in the G League. Avery, let me ask you this. Uh, he Kansas was once considered a favorite for him, instead decided to go overseas to New Zealand, much like we saw LaMelo Ball do. How do you feel about these young guys deciding to forego college, forego the G League, and go overseas instead? Well, I think it's inevitable. You're going to see more and more kids um, decide, especially if they think they are a lottery player, to play in the new G League, uh, on the new G League team that's led now by Brian Shaw. Uh, you see a lot of kids that's going to go to New Zealand or Australia. Uh, we'll, it remains to be seen, you know, if kids are going to be able to go in the next collective bargaining agreement straight from high school to the NBA, uh, especially a small sample size of those kids that that are qualified. So I just think it's around the corner. You see what's happening with the change in in the in the likeness and kids being able to to, to benefit from their own uh, likeness. That's so. I just believe um, it's inevitable uh, what's what's happening because you're going to see a lot of these kids that just don't believe, unfortunately, that they're college material. All right, getting to the last five picks of the first round now. That's Amanda Guerra. I'm Chris Hassel. Thank you for joining us here on HQ's coverage of the NBA draft presented by Jeep. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.